Hey everybody, I want to take a few minutes today to talk about a very unique and interesting product from Logitech. This product addresses one of the challenges of a native room system such as a Microsoft Teams room system, a Zoom room system, or a Google Meet room system. While these room systems are fantastic for their ubiquitous user interface and their centralized management, one of the challenges can be if you want to have a meeting on a platform that isn't native to those devices. Say maybe you come to a Microsoft Teams room and you want to do blue jeans or go to meetings, something of that nature, it can be challenging to do so. What if you want to host your meeting from, say, your laptop? So any meeting that you're having on your personal compute, you want to be able to use, say, the in-room speakers, microphone, and camera with your laptop. That is addressed with the Logitech Switch. So before we go into a demo of this device, I wanted to go through a quick unboxing to actually show what's in the box. So let's switch to our overhead camera and see what that is. All right, so we have our Logitech Switch box here. I have taken the liberty of pre-cutting the tape on the box because me and knives are always a risky proposition. I'm gonna flip the lid on this here. And the first thing we see at the top is another box and within this box we have the two meter or six and a half foot HDMI 2.0 cable. There is also the 2.2 meter or 7.2 foot USB 3.0 cable that is USB A on one end, USB C on the other. This is the actual switch dongle itself, which we'll be talking about here soon, which has the USB-A and the USB-C connector. This is what's actually going to sit on top of the table and connect into the laptop. And these are the USB connections that go to the switch extender, which we'll talk about here shortly. There is also the 5 meter or 16.4 foot USB 3.0 cable, USB-A at one end, USB-C at the other. I'm going to remove this cardboard and set it aside and we are presented with additional safety compliance and warranty information in multiple languages of course and the setup guide which is going to walk you through setting up this switch um, tells you what the contents of the box are provides you with a number of wiring diagrams which can also be accessed on prosupport.logi.com for future reference set that aside and we are presented with the primary components of the switch itself which are the main switch hub which we'll unbag here in just a second show you what those connections are the switch hub with some mounting screws here on the side so you can affix this to a surface and the switch extender so this is what is actually going to go maybe under your table. Um, there's a grommet and within the box as well that would actually screw in here and that's where you would secure the uh, switch dongle to. In addition, there is some additional mounting screws there. So let's pull these guys out and set them aside. Put this guy here and this here and we've got a number of additional components at the bottom to plug this guy in and make it work there is the switch extender power supply here with um, two different types of power adapters there is the switch hub power supply here so each of those hubs requires power and you have those here this is the grommet that screws through that switch extender piece of hardware so this is what the switch connector would actually be fed through and here is the mounting cap for that device in addition there is um, another little 3m pad here so you could actually affix this on top of the table or on a wall so the little switch uh, connector would be magnetically attached to this just for cable management um, and some additional adapter heads here based on your location. And the last piece we have is a mounting bracket for the power supply for the switch extender so you can secure that up under the table with the included screws. All right, so let's unbag these and show you a clear view of these and talk about some of the connections. Okay, so we've unpackaged everything that we removed from the box just so we can get a clearer view of the connections and the devices that are included with the Logitech switch. So we'll start from the cables to the hubs to the power, just kind of going top to bottom again. 
So this is the two meter or six and a half foot HDMI 2.0 cable. We also have the 2.2 meter or 7.2 foot USB 3.0 cable. This is the five meter or 16.4 foot USB 3.0 cable. And this is the actual Logitech switch cable itself. This has the dongle that you will actually use to connect to a laptop with USB-A or USB-C and then additional USB connectors that will go to the switch extender. Now all of this will be explained um, through the wiring diagrams included in the box or available through prosupport.logi.com so you'll know how to connect all of this. This is the switch extender. This would be located say under the table, give you an idea of what that would look like. This is the switch extender with the um, dongle run through that center connection at the bottom of the table. To just kind of show you what that looks like, this is that grommet that would feed through the switch extender, lock into place for a nice clean install. Um, show you this little captive door flips up so you have the, the power, the USB connections all on the bottom of this device which lives under the table. This is the switch hub, which is where you would locate this close to a PC, maybe behind the display or in a credenza. And these are where the primary connections take place. So you have the power, HDMI to the TV, USB-A to the AV, so that would be like to a Rally Plus system, a Rally Bar, um, something as simple as a meetup, any sort of AV peripherals that can be connected through USB-A, you would connect here, HDMI to the PC, USB-C to the PC, USB-C to the extender. So those are all the connections you find on the switch hub. And again, wiring diagrams available on prosupport.logi.com linked in the description. These are the power adapters. This is for the switch extender as this would likely be under a table. I've taken, taken the liberty to put the mounting accessory on the power adapter there so you can see how this would secure under a table nice and neat. And the switch hub power adapter. So this is everything you will need to connect the Logitech switch to an existing room system. So we're going to take some time, get this connected up to a couple of room systems so we can do a quick demo of the device in action.